Much better stance. I need a stand. I'm sitting too long. All right, much better stance up there. Not hunched over. As the play comes in front, we talked about that. You get hunched over, hunched over. Okay. When it's set up here, uh, which last week we did this drill. We did video, the same drill. Okay. Much difference. <laughs> Big difference. Okay. When you settle yourself, right, even when you're tired, you take a second, take a break, and get in your good position, and get in your good stance, you set yourself up well. All right. But when you get tired, the tighter it gets in, the more you crunch down, all right? So always remember, if you get tired, guys, sit down, all right? I mean, don't lean over, sit down in the chair. Sit your butt down a little more. Get your upper body a little bit taller, so that way your lungs can work a little bit better, all right? You can breathe a little bit better. You can get oxygen to the brain, okay? You can recover a little bit better. You can control your breathing, okay? You don't want to be hunched over, all right? There's so much more into uh, what we do out there than just goaltending, okay? Good posture is always a good thing. Good posture is always a good thing, okay? Good posture is great for little things, so just being able to breathe, all right? Getting oxygen to the brain, letting your body recover. Okay, so save, good transition, stick is leading behind you, getting there, and falling back on your butt. Get the gloves out there in front. All right, a little bit of double coverage. Get the gloves up above the knees a little more. If you get the gloves up a little more and sit yourself up, you, you'll, uh, you won't lean down at all. Good say. Oh, just kidding. That's not where it's supposed to be. On those, even though this is not the drill for that, those you have to drive your blocker down. You have to get your get it down on that pad. Okay, it's not going to be face now. All right, the way the the blockers are nowadays, there are two sides of the blocker. All right, there's a normal, the old school waffle board section, the block area. And there's also the thumb area. All the thumb areas on blockers now are beefed up. You can make saves there. Okay, just like Jonathan Quick does the glove save. All right, we can do the same thing on the blocker side. Extend that thumb out. Get it down right away to the pad. Pad save, eyes on puck, transition. Okay, here's another thing I see happen. What do we see? Besides the shooter's leg. What do we see? Sorry. Not yet, not yet. The only thing we can see right now. Your blocker's down and out, that means your stick is out of position. What happens now, this also means that you are leaning on that stick. You put that stick out there, guys, you are actually trying to balance yourself. Okay, good push over. All right, but keep those hands up. Elbows in, gloves up and out. Elbows in, gloves up and out. Yeah, so that as as we're getting more and more in this drill, the, the stick is the stick is creeping in over there. Okay. So same thing. What happens here, okay guys, what's gonna help you on your transitions? Nine times out of ten, when your stick goes back there. That means, originally, you did not bring your stick over to make that save. That puck goes glove side. Don't just use your pad. Bring that stick over there. Stick should be here. Okay. Blocker should come over. Glove is fine. All right, so that way, when you have your stick over here, it comes out. Over there, it meets the puck over. Even if it's a couple inches off the ice, you're meeting the, this uh, puck over there with your stick. You're also bringing your shoulder around. Okay? You bring that shoulder around, now you can transition. Now, the whole entire time, your upper body doesn't move too much, and your hands are trying to overcompensate. Okay? So when, you're, when you don't get that stick around, your upper body tries to overcompensate and tries to twist and help you get over. 
okay? Because your shoulders are too late. All right, get this stick over there. So whatever side it's going, get use that stick. Keep it active. Let's get one more here. Oh, after this one. See what happened? Further and further we're getting a drill. It's not, it's still better than last week. Okay, so this is something. Okay, so what we're noticing here, guys, with Gus, we're getting further and further in the drill, and then he starts reverting to his leaning forward. Okay, so that's something you should notice in yourselves, because like, I do see it in some of you guys as well, uh, in dip different aspects. Okay, when you start noticing things like this, as we get further and further in the drills, and you start getting a little bit tired, starting to get a little more lazy. Okay, you have it. Your body will not shut down. Okay. The first thing that shuts down is your brain, okay? Your body can resist a lot, okay? So keep going. And we're not going to put you anything out through this on and off ice that your body will shut down, all right? You should all be able to go through this, all right? Even at whatever level you guys are at, from beginner to uh, which is the highest we have. High school, 16U, AAA? No, what were you? Okay. All right, so I, I think you're the one well, besides Scopper here. Well, and collegiate hockey. My non-collegiate. Okay. Good push to it. Just missed it with the stick. That's okay. The pad is backing up. Okay. Bring that knee in right away. Bring that knee in right away. Okay. As soon as you push, bring that knee in right away that's going to help your momentum and getting up maybe didn't really have to power leg all the way out there i'm not opposed to it though i'm not opposed to it okay so if this is a game situation and he gets that rebound and he wants to make a, take another shot and he doesn't have a pass situation you can be aggressive you can go out there okay you can be aggressive you can be up there however you have to be confident you cannot hesitate and you also have to be aggressive, super aggressive with your stick and, good, and not be flopping. This means exactly what Gus does, power legs out, okay, and make sure you bring it back home when you come back around, okay? So, but we don't want them to have that opportunity to come back out here. We want to block everything on that wide angle. All right, keep them over there. Keep them, keep them over to that blocker side.